everybody, Angie from Our Little Home and Garden. And today I just wanna go through the garden, show you some spring plans and some of the cleanup that I need to do. All right, first when we come out, the first thing you see is my front bed, which I'm going to this season rip completely up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the old paper up and basically just remulch it, put new paper down. I do have one little dilemma that I'm trying to figure out, and that is what else to put here. So we have two knockout roses. Don't mind the weeds. So we have a knockout rose here, and then we have another one over here. And the rest is pretty much blank, except for this limetta hydrangea that I planted this morning. And you'll see that in the video as well. One of the things I want to do is make everything really cohesive through the garden and I want to make sure that every garden area has lavender and limetta hydrangeas. So I know I do want to add a little bit of lavender to this bed. Excuse the background noise. But other than that, I want to keep it really clean, really simple, not no flowers. And I'm thinking I want to either do tater tot arborvita or I want to do the Anna's, Anna's Magic Ball. I'm just not really sure which one I want. And I would think I would do one here at this end um, and one there at this end. And what I thought about actually was doing two. So doing the tater tot here at either end. And then in the middle, I'm kind of midway between the hydrangea and the end, and midway between the hydrangea and this corner, maybe there I would do the Anna's Magic Ball. I think that would look really cute. Low maintenance because all the other gardens require so much maintenance. I just want this to be real clean, semi-formal. All right, this messy mess mess right here is what is usually our cottage garden and it's usually planted up with mostly wildflower seeds. Um, we have foxglove in there, daisies, rubecchia, cone flowers. But right now it's basically just what's left over weeds from where I've been digging it all out for the season. One of the things that I wanna do new this year is I wanna line this entire front of the house with Limetta Hydrangea. I chose Limetta because it's a neutral green and white and it doesn't get too awfully large because I don't want anything that gets bigger than the window there. So I had to go between 36 and 50 inches and I think they'll stay nicely within that area. And I hate that old dingy concrete look. So we're going to do a nice row of those limettas in the spring. Cause it's a little late for planting now. This is the white bed. And it is usually filled with daisies and yarrow and thyme and then just white annuals. And I, so what I'm gonna do with it this year is, again, I'm gonna do the limettas. And then I think what I need really need to do is I need to dig all this out because back against 
the frame of the house where the lime edis is going, I'm having trouble with things growing there. And I believe it's because there is probably 10 inches of malt and we're not getting to the ground. So what I really need to do is in the spring, dig all of this out, lay topsoil and start this bed all over fresh. This bed over here, we just finished this one up right at the beginning of fall. And so hopefully it'll fill in really nice. The only thing it's missing is it doesn't have a lime meadow in it. And I I'm kind of debating putting one right about there. But we have our Atlas Rose right about right here. Then we have lavender everywhere. We have Russian Sage. And then we have our Walker's Blue Catmint, which is a favorite of mine. And the lavender in here I have is Munstead. And I believe I have, I, this one right here is either Hidcoat or maybe it's the Proven Winners. It, it might be the Proven Winners, but I think it's Hidcoat. Um, this area here, I just want to put a really big pot with maybe a maple in it. I'm not sure. Over here, we're going to put an arbor. This is the pollinator garden, all cut down for the season. Hugster Lavender, and I think this is a Miss Molly. So my two butterfly bushes right at the entrance to the pollinator garden. We're also working on the grass. So we killed off all of our grass and we are adding new seed. And it looks really, really good because a month ago, Two months ago there was no grass so we still have some bare spots but it's coming along and we're gonna go over here I'm sorry for the background noise always yard work going on around here this time of year so this is the romance garden today we came out we cut down the hostas I need to rake all of that up and get that out of here for the year so there's a lot of projects going on in this area too. So right here we have my little roses. And then here I want to put a Spirit 2 hydrangea. And then down here, I ordered a weeping willow tree that's gonna go right here. Now this area right here, and you can kind of see the lines in the grass right there, stays wet a lot. So I want to do the weeping willow and then I want to run a dry creek bed all the way to the fence where it stays wet. We're also going to put the arbor at this gate. And I'm trying to decide what roses I want to plant around the arbors because I want matching rose, roses on the arbors on either side of the house as well as train to go up that corner pole right there on the porch. And like I said, I like everything to be cohesive. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do iceberg roses. 
so because the white with the lavenders and the limettas will go really well another project that i have coming up in the spring is figuring out what i'm doing with this driveway situation so it will either be hydrangeas going all the way down or hydrangea and then lavender and then hydrangea i can't decide or maybe lavender going all the way down it's bad because it's on such a slope so it's really hard to plant i do have right now what's there is just a small row either side i have four of the sweet romance lavender from proven winners looking kind of rough everything out here is looking rough this time of year for me i don't usually plant for fall and so things look kind of tired right now usually in the fall i'm not home much i have some things i like to do on the weekends some lots of outdoor activities and so i'm not usually home very often in the fall and so i don't want to maintain anything in the fall and so i don't plant for the fall but that's going to change with this upcoming season this is also the bed that we just finished and i am loving 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 this spanish lavender the contrast is so beautiful it just stands out so much don't mind my trash can we're trying to decide where we want to keep those so they're not in the garden area And so here's the limetta for this bed. So like I said, I want to have one, one I, you know, just about everywhere that you look, there's going to be in each bed, hopefully, a limetta for the front of the house. So I just need to get one more for the side, the other side bed. Then we have our Penny Mac hydrangea, some more Spanish lavender. I planted some rosemary in here. We have our lambs here, which is a small variety. We've got the Japanese painted fern, which was not doing well where it used to be. And so we moved it over here and it seems to be doing pretty good. Lamium, it's a pink lamium. Lots of hoopla. The only thing that I don't have in this bed that I want to add yet is I really want to get my hands on some of the Shadowland Wee Hosta. I'm going to put like two in here. Other than that, it's just going to be little fillers. Um, sweet Woodruff is what I'm using. So I want to get more Sweet Woodruff, more Lamium. And I think that's going to be it for the plants in this bed. I don't want it to be too much. And especially considering this bed doesn't really get any light. This is as bright as it gets over here. This over here on the other side of the fence is going to be the formal garden it's the formal garden and the kitchen garden so the only thing i have planted out there right now is one incredible hydrangea um, we've got a gray dogwood in a pot and we have some roses over here we've got a pink knockout rose here and then over here we've got some cl lavender climbing rose so not a lot going on back here. Basically been working on getting this grass in shape. And next year we'll work on making it a garden. In the back, I have a lot of plans for gardens for next year. We have that, which is the formal kitchen garden. I'm calling it the Renaissance garden because we're gonna have formal mixed with kitchen out there. Then on the other side is going to be the cottage garden i don't know how cottage is, cottage is going to be that one i keep wavering back and forth on and then we're going to have all the way in the back it's a wooded area a little wooded nook and we're going to do the zen garden back there for my husband because he loves zen stuff and it is around here So back there by the hammock and by the shed, that'll be the Zen garden because in the summer it's heavily, heavily shaded. So I thought that would be a great place for a Zen garden. And on the other side of the deck, the back side, we're gonna put 
a paver area with a fire pit. And then this all will be the garden here. And the only thing I have here right now is, sorry, we went crazy there for a minute, is I have a blue chiffon Rosa Sharon planted right there that it's a little hard to see. Isn't doing all that great right now. I think it's just dormant for the sum, for the fall. But that's about it. A lot of projects going on. A lot of ideas I still have to cook up. I know the general idea of things that I want. I know I want to add a Korean viburnum, a snowball viburnum in here somewhere. I also want a Kalanza cherry tree. So I don't know where I want to put that because I don't want to get rid of all of my sun. I would love to get rid of this pear tree because it stinks so bad in the spring. I have two of them. I have that one there and that one there on the other side of the flag. So I'd love to get rid of them. This area here with the bench, other than putting the hydrangeas at the edges, I don't know if I'm going to just seed it up like I normally do with the wildflowers or if I want to do something a little more designed and a little more formal which i which is what i think i am gonna do but that's it as far as what we have going on right now so i need to dig this out before winter hopefully So until next time, thanks for checking everything out with me and happy gardening.